He's been an infantry soldier for 14 years, been in combat numerous times, and figured it was time for a change. This is my sixth tour. All my tours have been combat tours, and I've seen this one, robotics, so I figure let's see what this is about. What he discovered is a world of modern high tech, plastic assemblies with names like Talon, T-Hawk, Devil Dog. The bots are temporary visitors at the Joint Robotics Repair Detachment, Kuwait, a shop where a handful of carefully selected soldier technicians are seriously focused on the problems of bots. We actually save, help to save lives because the robots can go down and interrogate IEDs or suspicious things rather than a human being. Military robotics isn't new, but it was during Operation Iraqi Freedom that the use of robots rose to the forefront, a defensive tactic against insurgent bombs. Here in Kuwait, they see some eight robotic systems of all sizes and types currently in use in places like Afghanistan. And there is a lot of passion because it is going out and preventing soldiers from getting injured on the battlefield. For Reynolds and his fellow technicians, the job is identifying what's not working, fixing it, and getting it back into the battlefield where human lives are at stake. We need to find what is wrong with the system, why it's not working, why did the arm stop moving, or why did the camera go out. When we send a robot out to the field, we know it's working that the soldiers can trust their robot. Gil McCabe, Kuwait.